I'll take you guys for the ride. This is how this is how I do on the farm. I drive through the farm like a maniac. What's up, my immune friends? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. It is the morning. I have done a little bit of inventory management, not too much, but a little bit. All right, this is everything I got on me. I am a little bit hungry and thirsty. We're going to wait a little bit until at the last minute. I did not kill Bobby because I couldn't bring myself to do it. No, that's not really true. I didn't need to. I didn't need to. All right, what are we going to be doing today? Well, you know, guys, I really want to go out and start looting the countryside, but I can't really do that right now. And the reason I can't do that right now is basically because I need food, okay? We need food, and that's all there is to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this, uh, this container right here, and we're going to kind of put this in the truck. Uh, if we can get this out of here. And um, this, is, this has got all of our uh, backup parts for the truck. There we go. And uh, so let's put this in there. And I think we'll take one more. I'm not going to take a lot of stuff because this is not really a loot run. Um, so I don't really need to bring a lot of these these um, lockers. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, so let's... Oh, boy. I didn't even empty them. All right. Well, let's empty this one. There we go. And we'll take this locker because I'm sure we will come across loot at some point. Yeah, I want to like I want to do some real looting, guys. But we got a, a hunger issue. And how are we going to solve that? Well, I'll tell you how we're going to solve that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make what I like to call a bear, a bear cabin. Okay, so let's get on out there. What we have to do is we have to find an area where we know bears spawn. And if you guys watched last season, you know exactly where bears spawn. We're gonna go there right now, and we're gonna make it. We're gonna make a cabin, and then we're gonna put some stuff in front of the cabin, and then we're just gonna wait for the bear. He won't be able to get to us. We'll be able to kill him, no problem. Uh, you know, and then bada bing, bada boom, and we're gonna get a bear kill. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I did this not last season, but the season before last season. I didn't save, did I? Let's go ahead and save. Because, um, yeah, driving this truck anywhere, man, make sure you save. Because this thing could flip over at a moment's notice. Um, I did this not last season, but the season before. And it worked out really well. What you do is you basically you make a cabin. And then you put, like, uh, tables around the front of it and then you know you build it where there's where you know there's going to be a bear and then you just get the bear's attention he'll run up to the tables he won't be able to get through he'll swipe at the air until you kill him and then you got it you got a bear kill it's gonna be awesome and um i know where there's a few areas where there's bears but um i didn't know if they changed anything up and plus this is the closest one i could think of so we're gonna come over here we're gonna build it right here because this is the um this is the spot where we know there's gonna be a bear like all the freaking time Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm surprised I haven't seen him yet. Where is this guy? Where is this guy? I know he's around here somewhere. There he is. See? what I tell you? Now, I don't have a bow, which kind of sucks. So, well, we're going to have to kill him. We're going to have to kill him. Uh, we got some pistol rounds. Ooh. We do have some pistol rounds. We're low on ammo. Man, I really should have made a bow. I didn't get time. You know, I just wanted to come out here. All right. Well, I know we can get him. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh, boy. There he is. There he... Oh, God, he's right behind me. He is one fast bugger. Uh, okay. Don't go nowhere. What are you doing over there, jerk? That's not where you want to be. Are you stuck? I think he's stuck. Oh, yeah, he's stuck as hell. All right. Oh, boy, he didn't like that. He didn't like that. Go figure, right? No oh boy. He's like, make up your mind! Alright, let's see if we can get him with melee. Uh, number five. No, number six. Alright, buddy. Time for you to go bye-bye. Oh, got him there. Oh, there he goes. Be beautiful. Be beautiful. We're not gonna... We're not gonna cut him up though that's not what this is about today um this is about having a more sustainable way to kill him in the future all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the cabin all right i don't really know if it matters which way it faces but i guess we'll have it face this way because i don't know reasons that's as good as ways i need to face all right and then we just gotta grab some wood i have some wood up in here so oh you know what i think i left my wood at home oh no there it is Okay, I was like, oh, I might have left the wood at home. That's okay, though, because we're going to have to chop down trees anyway and uh, cut up some more cut up some more wood. Uh, save game, and we might have to sleep here for the night. You know what? We Oh, boy. We're not going to have the... 
I forgot it takes like eight hours to build this damn thing. Now, my hunger and thirst will go down, but will I lose hit points? Let's see. Let's keep a look at our hit points. If I don't lose hit points, I'm just going to let myself go hungry. Yeah, I'm starting to lose hit points. Okay. But it's going slow. Really slow, actually. So let's just uh, let's just ignore it for now. I mean, that's going really slow. So, I mean, if I'm not going to if I'm not going to have to eat and drink, then the hell with it. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to eat and drink. We'll, we'll eat and drink when we're done here, though. Come on. Damn, bro. You work so freaking slow. Are you kidding me? Eight hours to build the damn cabin. Okay. Now let's go ahead and eat and drink. Eat. We don't have any drink. We don't have any uh, water at home either. This is the only water I have. I might have a couple sodas at home, but, you know, we, do, we don't have a lot. We don't have a lot. We're going to have to, uh, the water will be easy. It really will be. So, not really concerned about that. Okay, now that we got that done, let's go ahead and get in this and let's do that. Back up a little bit. There we go. And you can even, you can even turn the, the truck off and still have the lights. And I don't even think it, like, burns out a battery or anything. All right, so now what we're going to do is we need to keep the uh, the the bear away from the front of this place. And we're going to do that by making ourselves some tables. Okay. And we'll just put one right there. I want to do this with six tables. I don't want to make more than six. All right. And right there. It can be pretty far away. The bear has a hard time getting through the tables. So... And probably a good spot for one. The cool thing about tables, guys, uh, there was two ways you could do it. You could do it tables or fences. The cool thing about tables is you can move them later, which is really, really nice. You can just pick them up and move them. All right, so. One. Yeah, we'll be able to do this with six. I don't want to, I don't want to use more than six. Okay. All right. They might be a little far apart, but like I said, once they're once they're made, I could always put them closer together. There we go. All right, let's throw some stuff into these tables. Let's get these tables going. Oh boy, guys, it's getting late. I have I did loot this tower, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just go to sleep. Let's just go to sleep on the floor. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, this is where I have to sleep. That's right. I remember staying here last season. I had to sleep on this railing continuously <laughs> until I got a bed. Um, so we'll go ahead and sleep there. Now my hunger and thirst is going to be an issue, but there actually is some food down below. Um, and we, I want to take this. Oh, that's right. This thing was annoying. That's right. Okay, well. Oh, there we go. Cool. That came out a lot easier than, than it did the first time. I had a real hard time getting this thing out last season. And here is just no problem. All right, can I get that down there, please? Yes, I can. Beautiful. We'll take that with us. All right, so over here, there is some food and drink, which is quite handy. Really going to save my bacon. Um, and it is the morning, so let's see what we got here. I don't know if we're going to have another bear. Um, I hope not. Let me go ahead and save. <laughs> I think you have to, I think you have to uh, restart the game before you'll get another bear to respawn, but I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure. So, I don't know if these tables are going to be too far apart. They might be, but I don't think so. Like, bears are pretty big creatures. Pretty sure I can make this work with six tables. I think the first time I did this, which was two seasons ago, I did it with, um... Yeah, I'm going to have to chop down another tree. I think the first time I did this, I did it with, uh... Uh, four tables. But I think this is going to work out just fine. So, let's go ahead and cut down some trees. This is another nice uh, quality of life thing. Um, you can hold down the button to chop the trees down. It wasn't always like this, guys. If you guys have been playing this game since, since the beginning, like I have, you'll know that th it wasn't always like this. Sometimes, you know, back, back when the game first started, back in my day, you know, we had to press the button each time we wanted to swing the axe. What a pain in the ass. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick all this stuff up because we are going to need it all. Someone mentioned in the comments that I'm going to need to... Eventually, I'm going to have to eventually, um, oh, oh god, I can't hold anything. I'm going to have to eventually, um, use the knife to get the bark. You, you can use knife to get the bark off the tree. Um, the problem with using the knife to get the bark off the tree is, well, there is no problem with it. It just, you know, it takes extra time, so I'm not going to do it until I have to, but I'm going to have to do it eventually. There's just no doubt about that. All right, it looks like the hunger and thirst is becoming an issue again. What a bummer. I'd like to cut up that bear, get home, cook him up, 
But I'm not leaving here until I know this place is going to work. We might have to reload the game to get another bear to spawn. So, we'll see. We shall see. All right, there we go. And, ah, uh, we're one short. Okay, we'll just grab what we need. We should probably eat and drink, shouldn't we? Eh, whatever. Eh, whatever. It's all good. Eating and drinking is for the weak. So, I'm thinking the bear can't get through that. Um, but just in case, why don't we go ahead and move this over a little bit more. And then move this right like that. Yeah. That should be pretty good. Um, yeah, that should be okay. I'd like to move this one out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Give me a little... So I can get in the door if I need to. Alright. Well, what we're going to do is before we uh, restart the game and try and spawn another bear, we're going to come over here and see if there's any more food and drink. Uh, yep, there we go. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. There could be another bear over here as well, I think. I think I've seen a bear over here before. But let's go ahead and eat that. So we're not starving and dying of dehydration. And then let's do the canned food. Got some shotgun shells. Oh, cool. I didn't know there was another inventory thing over here. Beautiful. All right. That is a nice, nice surprise. Oh, there's another bear. He's too far, though. He's too far to lead all the way over here. All right, guys. I just restarted the world, and I already hear... I hear uh, the pitter-patter of um, big bear feet out here. So there you go. There's the bear. Get his attention. Hello. What's up, bro? And then bring him over here and hope he can't get through those tables. Nope, he cannot get through the tables. And there you go, boys. And then he's going to try and get around, but you just kind of smack him in the mouth. This is a lot easier to do if you have a bow. I'd really like to get a bow. But you can do it with melee. You just got to, you know, keep dancing in and out. What's up, buddy? Oh, how you like me now, bro? You suck it, you stinking bear. That's what you get. Beautiful. All right, guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to make some room in our inventory and we're going to cut that bear up something good. So we're just going to throw everything in here. Um, cutting up the bear will take up quite a few uh, inventory spaces. We're going to try and take as much as we can. Um, in order to cut up the bear, you want to have a combat knife. I think if you I think if you cut up the bear's head, you want to have the axe. But other than that, it's just the combat knife. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this sucker taken care of. And we're just going to go ahead and butcher him. And we're gonna take all of the meat. This is gonna take a. This is gonna take a while. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and save. Um, oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't bother taking all the meat because I can't salt it yet because I don't have a drying rack. What did I need for a drying rack? Can I make a drying rack today? I forget what I need for it. Oh yeah, we could do a drying rack. Okay. All right. So let's take all of the meat. Well, that's a good amount of meat. Let's take the fat. Um. We could take the hide. The problem with taking the hide is you need a tanning rack in order to get the hide dried out, right? So I'm not really sure I want that. Um, I think the animal guts can go on the drying rack. So let's just butcher that. Let's, let's, let's do what we have so far. It's going to be 3.4 hours. You have to be very, like, conscious of the amount of time it's going to take to gut all this stuff. You know, um, if we take salt and the meat, we can make dried meat and put it on the drying rack, which is great. Um, the fat is used for the generator, which is awesome. And the guts are used for the bow, I think. And I think the hide is... You know what? Let's take the hide. I think the hide is used for the the quiver for the bow. I think that's... Uh, yeah, we, we need a lot of stuff from the bear. That's for sure. The problem is the stuff will go bad. The guts, the meat, everything. It'll all go bad. Um, so we, we've got our work cut out for us when we get home. I'm going to take the rest of the meat. There's no reason not to butcher it. It's not like leaving it here does us any good. So even if it's going to go bad... Oh, goodness. Um, we'll take it with us. Let's just drive home. Oh, boy. Look at that. Well, guys, the um, the bear cabin is an unequivocal success. I love the thing. It's great. I do have what I need to eat, but I'm just going to go home and eat because I don't feel safe eating out here in the middle of the night. Now, you could probably eat out here in the middle of the night. Um, I don't think the infected come out at night in this game, which is kind of a mistake I think needs to be rectified. I think the night should be the most dangerous time, personally. Um, you know, so we'll see. Alright guys, I know this is dark, and I don't like making dark videos, but going to bed right now is probably not the best use of my time. If I go to bed, all this stuff is going to spoil even quicker. 
Um, I don't need to sleep right now. I could sleep during the day. It is perfectly fine. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get some lights going as quickly as possible so you guys don't have to sit through too much of a dark video. All right, so we're going to put a campfire down right here. We're going to need some stone. I believe I have the stone. I just don't know where. There we go. And there we go. We just need some, uh, not sticks, but branches. So let's go ahead and grab some. Oh, you know what? I don't. Oh, I got some branches from chopping down the trees. I used all my branches to make sticks before I went out to make the uh, the bear cabin. But I should have more in here from chopping down those trees. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So now that we got this done, there's two things we're going to want to put on. We're going to want to put on this thing. We're going to want to put on a grill stand and a cooking pot. But before we do that, we got to make the drying rack. I should have done this first, actually. That was a mistake. Um, so we need some rope. So how do we make rope? I believe that is leaves. Um, so let's drop some of this. Oh, God, we can't really drop any of this stuff. Um, leaves, leaves, leaves. All right, well, let's just throw that on the ground, I guess. All right, so we're going to need some leaves. And I think we also need... Yeah, we need bark for the rope as well. That's what that dude was saying about the bark. You're going to need a lot of bark. You need six bark. My goodness. Yeah, we do need a lot of bark. Come on, damn it. Grab the bark. All right, we just need a little bit more bark. 16, 16, 12. It's just a couple more bark. I think we have some in here. I guess I should just leave that door open. I'm just always paranoid that something's going to come in and attack me. And it really should. If you leave your door open at night in an apocalypse, you should get attacked. You kind of deserve it. Anyway. Let's go ahead and make two rope. And then that will be enough for the drying rack. We'll salt up this, uh, this meat and get that stuff on the drying rack. That's number one concern. Um, Alright, now we need the sticks. Now, I did make a lot of sticks... But I don't know what I did with them. I think they're out here as well. I think I put them in here. Come on. Uh, no, no sticks, huh? Alright, what did I do with my sticks? Uh, there they are. Is that enough sticks? I don't know. Probably. Did I have seven sticks on the ground? I think I did. Yes, I did. Beautiful. Alright, so now that we've got the drying rack, we need to turn all this meat into salt, salted meat. Or, you know, like um, dried meat, right? Um, now every time you turn one of these meat into dry meat, it's going to give you four, so you have to make room for that. So three and four. And now I have to find the salt. There's some salt. And four. Okay, so now what you do is you come up here and you go ahead and just do this one at a time, because I'm telling you, you'll have like, I don't even know if the meat will fall on the ground. I think you might just lose it. It might like go away. So, um, so let's put that right there. There we go. Now, this dried meat is going to be a really good way to eat food because um, now four of those dried meat is equal to the amount of fullness that you would get from one of these big animal meat, right? So you're not like gaining anything. It's just it's split into four pieces. Um, not really sure why. Just It just is. It's, that's the way the developer decided to do it. But the cool thing about the dried meat is it'll last a lot longer. And you can cook this meat if you want. You can cook this meat if you want, but, you know, the, the cooked meat won't last that much longer than the regular meat. Um, so this is why killing zombies is so important because it's, it's pretty much, oh, that's painkillers. Uh, killing zombies is pretty much the best way to get salt. Uh, I don't see any more salt. You know, we, we need some lights in here. Yeah, I don't see any more salt. Doesn't mean we don't have any, it just means I don't see any. Alright, well, let's build the next thing on this fireplace because we need to get some lights in here, man, for real. Uh, so let's go ahead and put that there. And we don't have what we need for that. Uh, what is that, four and, four and one? Alright. And again, this is where I got my hammer. So Bobby's a good chicken, man. I got that door open and he's not even walking out. He's a, that is a good chicken. That is a well-behaved chicken. I, I'm almost going to be sad when I, you know what? I might not have to kill him. I might not have to kill him. I could just make him a chicken coop. Uh, I was, I was going to kill him and eat him, but I don't really need to at this point. All right. So this thing right here is going to allow me to do a couple things. Number one, make soup, which I never make. Um, but what most importantly, it is going to allow me... Is that all the sticks I have? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can't believe that's all the sticks I have. Nope, there's some. Um, it's going to allow me to make soup, but more importantly, it's going to allow me to put this uh, animal fat in there. And putting the animal fat is going to be awesome because that will allow me to make um, biofuel, which I need for the lights I'm going to make. Um, all right. So, you know what? While I got you here, I, I really don't want to. I'm sorry about this dark video. I'm not going to do this again. Um, I should have just slept the night, but we're, we're committed now. So we're going to go ahead and grab some bark. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and make some uh, make some rope. 
All right, guys, I've been looking all night and all morning for the matches. I don't know what happened to them. Okay, the last time I just went back and watched the video from last video. The last time I saw the matches, they were right there. I don't know where they went. I had quite a few matches, and now they're not there anymore, and that is freaking irritating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some branches. I think I have some branches around here somewhere. Yes, no, maybe so. All right, I don't see any. Uh, let's take a quick look in here. I'm just kind of storing everything. Nope. All right, let's go get some branches. We're gonna, I'm going to do a little trick that one of you guys gave me. It was It's an excellent, excellent trick. And the trick is... Oh, is that three? Oh, nice, three. The trick is to make a fence in front of the doorway of the... Um, not a fence, but an, you don't make a fence. You make an actual um, gate in, in like the doorway of a building that has zombies in it. And then you just kind of sit back, let them come to the gate, and kill them with melee. Should be pretty easy. Um, I'm going to do it right here in this farmhouse. Although I've already looted the farmhouse. That's where I got the matches that disappeared. Um, so that kind of blows, but... What are you going to do? Uh, you know, we'll see if there's any in here. And if there's not, we're going to have to go somewhere and find some. Because uh, this sucks. Oh, you know what? Let's put it right here. Punk ass freaking zombie. Get back in the house. Actually, instead of... Oh, come on, man. Seriously? Go back in the house. Aren't you, like, afraid of the sun or something, I thought? All right. So we're just going to put it right here. And then we're going to save in case they come out here and start any trouble. And that should block them. Right? Right. Hey. 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 Oh. There we go. All right. Beautiful. No, come back out here, jerk. Right here. Huh. That's weird. Come on. There you go. Uh, no, no, don't go back. All right, got one of them. We got one of them. Drop salt, too, which is really nice. So, this isn't quite as good as I would like it to be, but... There we go. They don't seem to attack. Okay, can we, like, hop over this? No, nah, see, we can't. I don't think we can hop over it. No, we can't. We gotta actually open it and close it again. There you go. Alright, well, you know, it's not perfect, but it's definitely doable. Damn, how many's in there? Is that, the, is that all of them, I hope? Damn, there's like six of them in there. A lot of loot, though. Got some food, which is nice. Oh, thought I heard one. Alright. I think we're clear. Please tell me there's some more matches. In nope, I've already looted all this stuff. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say I definitely didn't, guys, but I'm pretty sure I didn't, like, lose those matches. I'm pretty sure that those matches, um, disappeared, but, uh, I guess, I guess, I guess I could have misplaced them. It's, it's not out of the realm of possibility. I'm just saying it's not probable. Now I'm gonna have to go look for some matches today, which is just a pain in the ass. Okay, there we go. Uh, do I have it on me? Yes, I do. I always bring it with me. All right, let's break in here. And then I'm going to go off camera and find some matches because... You, the problem is you can't make matches until you find some. You have to find your first set of matches. Well, that's nice. Um, because you can make matches, but you have to get a fire going before you can uh, actually make them. And you need, you need matches to get a fire going. Which makes me losing those matches really, really painful. All right, guys. I just came down the road. We're going to loot this place first just because it's the closest. And, uh, well, we'll get some looting done, I guess. I just I want to get that fire going. really do. I wanted to do it this video. Um, ooh. Okay. Um, we should probably take that with us. I mean, I'm not... I don't love these lockers, but hey, a free locker is a free locker, right? Am I right? I mean, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna turn my nose up at a free locker. All right. Come on. I don't think there's gonna be matches in here. I think the best place for you to get matches is probably... In, um, in a kitchen, I think. Got any zombies in here? I think we do. Oh, maybe not. thought there were some zombies in here. Maybe it's in the other... Maybe it's in the next room. I think there's a gear in one of these rooms, too. It might be a fake gear. Like, a gear that's on the ground. You can't take it with you. But, we'll see. 
All right. Oh, that's kind of a strange thing to be in a filing cabinet. All right, I think the. Uh, let's check behind the door. Nope, nothing. All right, I think there's zombies in this one. No, really? Hmm. Well, okay then. It's a pleasant surprise. I didn't want to deal with them. Not much in here, though. All right, fair enough. What about down here? Yeah, we got that one. So there's this one. This is probably going to be empty. Yeah, it's empty. All right, let's go ahead and break into this place. Maybe there'll be some uh, storage upgrades in here. Oh, there we go. Uh, can I not pick that up? Yeah, sometimes you can't pick those up. Chocolate bar. There we go. You just got to get above it. Okay, fair enough. Let's check upstairs. Oh, bathroom with some rags. Raggedy rags. Uh, break into this bad boy. Probably a shotgun or something in here. How much room do I have? I'm starting to get a decent amount of room. Alright, pistol. If I can get it. Come on, there we go. Okay, some sewing kits, some more rags. And there's a drawer here I can get into. Nothing. Alright guys, I'm at a house with some more zombies. I'm just gonna go in ham. There we go. Why not? Why not, right? Are they upstairs, or...? Sounds like they're upstairs. I'm so worried they're gonna come down. I don't know if they can get down here. Yeah, I think I've already looted in here. Well, no, I didn't, because I wouldn't have left all these bottles, would I? Alright, let's just get out of here. Oh, boy. I don't know where he came from. <laughs> Alright, let's break into this place. I don't think there's anything upstairs either. I, I've gotten up there before, and I don't think you're supposed to be able to get up there, because it was like, there was nothing up there when I went up there. Yeah, okay, guys, if I did something to the matches, and I just don't remember, but please, for the love of God, let me know. If it's my fault those matches are gone, I want to know. And if it's not, I want to know that too. Alright, guys, I searched, I searched that entire neighborhood, every single building. Not one set of matches. And it, as a matter of fact, all the kitchen cabinets were completely empty. So, kind of blows. Anyway, this is one of the spots by the farm that you could theoretically start at. This is not the one I started at. Now, there's like, I think there's four or five of these spread around the map. And not only do they have an inventory upgrade, but they also have a starter, like, chest. And these have a high chance of having matches. There we go. Beautiful. I'm so glad to see those matches. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad to see those matches. Oh boy. So I think we have to be a little bit careful on what we throw on the ground. I, you know, honestly, I should be being careful what I throw on the ground anyway. Um, but I got into the habit of just throwing whatever on the ground because I didn't think it mattered. But you know what? For the really, really important things, I strongly suggest you no, do not throw them on the ground. Because I think what happened is um, I threw too many things on the ground. I threw, too, I threw the wrong things on the ground. I don't know. But I'm almost positive I threw those matches on the ground and they disappeared. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go home and we're going to start that fire. Okay, damn it. I know we're going long here. I was supposed to stop this video. This video is taking me like an hour and a half to two hours to make, but I am not doing another thing until I get that fire going because I want to get some charcoal so in case I lose matches again, I could, you know, make some more because once you get the charcoal, you can make your own matches. Um, you know, we're almost home, so I'll just, uh, I'll take you guys for the ride. This is how, this is how I do on the farm. I drive through the farm like a maniac. Oh boy, this isn't going to work. Let's, uh, let's try and cut through these trees. There we go. And let's get this uh, fire started. Now we've lost a lot of the um, a lot of the quality of the fat and the meat that we have now, which kind of sucks. But that's okay. That's okay. Small small price to pay. I'm really glad I got those matches. Um, turn that off, please. Good news, Bobby. I found the matches. We got matches. Let's go ahead and put these animal guts up here before we do anything else. There we go. I don't know where I put the other animal guts. I'll deal with that later. Uh, imagine, watch me find the matches now, right? Um, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay, so we got the we got this thing all set up. Let's go ahead and put these in, and they got sixty percent chance, right? You got um, it doesn't say yeah, right there, sixty percent chance. So let's go ahead and get this started. Get this show on the road. There we go. And I already put the animal fat in there, so there we go. We got the animal fat going. That is freaking great. Oh my goodness, we're gonna cook up some meat. 
because I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna actually eat some of this meat straight up, and then we're gonna put the rest of the animal fat in there. Oh my god, I got a lot of meat. Damn. Um, well, I could actually I actually have the salt. I could just you know, wait, what the hell? Oh, ah! cage, 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 cage. You know better than that. You freaking know better than that. So what didn't I do? I didn't put any fuel in there. I don't know how it ignited if I didn't put any fuel in there. But, all right, well, let me show you how to make some fuel. So we're going to go ahead with the firewood. Um, let's take two pieces. We're going to chop the firewood. We need an axe. We have an axe on us. We're going we're gonna to chop eight pieces of firewood. And that's the fuel. Totally forgot about the fuel. It's been a, it's been a crazy video, guys. It really has. Oh, my goodness. Get that charcoal, please. Please give me the charcoal. All right. And number 12... There we go. All right, so now we will get some charcoal. That's doing its thing. The meat's cooking up. This you got to keep an eye on this. It'll go from rare to medium and then done. Uh, and you know, just keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. I don't want to even throw anything on the ground anymore, to be honest. I got to do some serious inventory management. But that is not going to be today. I think we're actually going to call this one here. Long video is long. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, if you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Well. Oh boy, I even messed up my outro. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.